Hey, Morgan, I think it's safe to say that there's some semantics at work here with regard to the ongoing talks between the U.S. and China. Um, Larry Kudlow did deny that there was an official meeting planned uh, with the two vice ministers from China that we had been informed of that the U.S. had chosen to call off, according to our sources. Uh, but it's safe to say that whatever official announcement that you normally get about these types of meetings, that's the tip of the iceberg and the preparation that goes on behind the scenes involving various officials from different agencies, lawmakers, stakeholders, you name it. That's the rest of the iceberg. And there were a lot of those people who were involved in and in the know of uh, these meetings that were potentially going to take place uh, this week that we have reported are, are now not going to take place. Now, two important things that Larry did say. He said that uh, the focus is still on this meeting with uh, Vice Premier Leo Hood that will, uh, as Larry said, take place uh, later this month. That is going to be crucial uh, to see how these talks will proceed. But he also acknowledged the other facet of our reporting, that the reason why uh, that meeting uh, was uh, pulled from the schedule or otherwise canceled is because the U.S. wanted to see more movement from China on some of the thorniest issues on trade, intellectual property theft, uh, forced technology transfer, and any sort of enforcement mechanism if China breaks its word on this deal. What happens? How do they bring China to account on that? All of that is still on the table. All of that is still trying to be worked out. And Larry acknowledged that there is difficulty inherent in these talks. And he said that he's not a pessimist about them, but he did acknowledge that that is the case. And overall as well, the, the topic of enforcement, I guess, uh, you'd throw into that, that list of the thorniest issues, uh, Kayla. But the, the theme and the tone, still relatively upbeat that we're on track, but, but clearly a, a sign that this uh, administration does care when the market starts selling off based on negative headlines around trade. It does, and it should also be noted, Wilfred, that we began reporting this story first thing in the morning. Um, at, during that time, during a course of several hours, U.S. Trade Representative, the Treasury Department, and the White House did not deny the story uh, that we brought to them and that we were reporting. It was only just before market closed that Larry Kudlow appeared on CNBC and refuted that there was an official meeting that was on the books that had been canceled. Uh, so that is an important detail here as well. We know that the administration is watching the impact of these talks on the market and on business very closely. Uh, and so certainly perhaps today's sell-off might have played a role in that too.